Gamers World Round lined up late last night for the midnight release of Batman Arkham Knight. Everybody took up the mantle of the bat, a cape and cowl of the Cape Crusader himself, went and plunged headfirst into Gotham City, going and ridding it of criminal scum, dual wielding hammers of justice, and dealing out ass beatings everywhere and anywhere that they possibly can. One of the most highly anticipated games of this console generation, whether you're picking up on Xbox One or PlayStation 4, but unfortunately for those who are picking up on PC, they didn't have the same exact AAA experience. As a matter of fact, theirs was ridden with tons of bugs and glitches and all sorts of other heinous shit that shouldn't be there in a game of this caliber. As a matter of fact, this is fucking ridiculous by all accounts. The fact that we consider this to be relatively normal to have day one patches and even games that are glitchy as fuck and all sorts of messed up, as soon as you go and get them, it is absolutely fucktarded as far as I'm concerned. Now, Rocksteady themselves, they developed Batman Arkham Knight, but for the PC port, it wasn't actually done by Rocksteady. They had this outsourced to a different company who was overseeing that part of the game. This, unfortunately, is one of the most normal things to happen. We see PC ports of big time games get treated like second class citizens. And I don't understand this mentality because PC gaming is fucking huge and gargantuan. It's not as if you're only getting a couple thousand people to go and invest in a game like this, you're getting millions the world round. So yet again, we have another gigantic game go and fall victim to a, whatever publisher or developer just not giving enough of a fuck. Apparently this is done by a group called Iron Galaxy, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's who they end up outsourcing the third party go and develop the PC port of it. If that is true, this is a really terrible first impression that they put out such a fucked up game. I've been hearing all sorts of things from game breaking glitches, graphical glitches, all sorts of programming errors, just things out the wazoo that make no sense that should be in the game. It's like, who the fuck was overseeing this. I would have been a lot happier for them to just come forward and say, we're gonna delay this by two to three weeks so we can iron everything out because we saw that this is fucked up. And you don't wanna release a game like that because guess what? If you go on to the Steam page for Batman Arkham Knight, it's mostly negative reviews. As a matter of fact, since Steam went and initiated the whole uh, return policy thing of you can just go and get your money back, that's what's been happening. A game that's $60 on launch, and a game that's as big as the Arkham series, which has been highly esteemed ever since Batman Arkham Asylum last generation. You do not fuck up a release like this. No one gave them that memo, unfortunately. But this is, again, the new normal, and I can't for the life of me understand why. And for anybody that's gonna play the fanboy card or the PC versus console thing, shut the fuck up for a moment and think about this. Just because your version of it, like, I'm, I'm gonna get on PlayStation 4, and I'm glad that at least, like, two-thirds of all the versions out there work just fine, but I still find it to be absolute fucking horseshit, because I hold Rocksteady to a very high standard. I hold Warner Brothers Interactive to a very high standard. Whoever that other fucking company is, I'll know them from some fucking asshole burning alive in my front yard. But this is fucking ridiculous and inexcusable. I'm sick of seeing this shit happen time and again. And sure, I know, well, just wait for the patches. That's not so bad. It shouldn't have to be that way. I don't want to fucking hear this shit of, oh, well, I'm going to go and give a lot of excuses to something like this. That's why this kind of shit is tolerated, is because you make excuses and you're willing to go and just accept things as being crap. No. The minute that your standards begin slipping and just go down a fucking cliff and then continue tumbling regardless like fucking Homer Simpson or some shit is the minute that everything goes to hell in a handbasket. And that's what's happening here. Now, Rocksteady did issue a formal statement saying that they were going to go and oversee everything and get it all fixed and they apologized for it, which is all fine and good, but you should have been overseeing it from the get-go. I mean, we've already had the issue of the fucking collector's edition with the little Batman, uh, the Batmobile inside of it that was all fucked up. So you now have two third parties that you've been dealing with outside of you that have fucked up greatly. Now, I'm take a word of advice from Alpha Omega Sin. Sometimes I know a thing or two. You need to make sure that you're doing a lot of this stuff internally. 
I'd already said that they need to develop all their limited edition content internally because they can do that. Warner Brothers and DC Comics are big enough and make all their own stuff. Why the fuck you need to go and get another company to do what you are already doing all the time is beyond me. Same thing with this. If you're having to go and pay other people that aren't a part of Rocksteady to go and do their job, then maybe you should quit outsourcing and do everything internally. Go and get an expanded group and have them specifically there for PC ports only. And when they're not doing the PC ports, you have them come in and help with all the extra shit that you're doing on whatever projects it is on console. Doesn't that seem like a common sense idea? And I'm, I'm, I feel like this should not have to be said. I feel like this should just be common knowledge. This is business ethics. One oh fucking one. I mean, give me a fucking break. Am I going to go out and get the game? Most fucking definitely. Once I have the extra money. As a matter of fact, this will be the very first Batman Arkham game I have not had on launch. Because, well, I'm fucking broke right now. And I had to save up my money for too many games. So, guess what? I just don't have the cash right now. But I plan on getting the game and playing the fuck out of it. But I do not like hearing that this is how you're treating the title. And you're treating an entire platform of individuals. You know, that's fucking stupid. And, and again, uh, all the fucking fanboy shit of that PC Master Race, oh, console peasants, oh, uh, PCs are fucking stupid, consoles, shut the fuck up. You stupid fucking assholes, measuring your dicks by some fucking hardware. You have nat-sized cocks to begin with, and I assure you, your fucking console and your PC isn't going to make it any fucking better once you get in the goddamn bedroom, assuming you can fucking quit tugging your dick to whatever you're seeing on fucking Pornhub. So fuck off with all that noise. Back to Batman Arkham Knight. This game is a big-ass game. You don't fuck up the big-ass games get this shit fixed. I mean, you've already got big time negative reception. It's already become common knowledge that the PC port of it is fucking broken beyond belief. And that's gonna steer a lot of would-be potential buyers away from even wanting to get the game, even if it's already fixed just because this has gone viral. The damage has already been done, but it's up to you to go and assure everybody that you're going to fix it. That's not exactly what you wanna have on your resume is, we pissed off the internet. You never want to go and do something like that. You never want to go and piss off the internet because just like that, everybody knows. Social media is a bitch. Going on Reddit, oh man, that's going to fuck shit up even more. Oh my god, YouTubes? Yeah, all that shit. Word gets around really fucking quick, but it, and basically, I just want to go and let everybody know my two cents on it, because, you know, me being an opinionated motherfucker, I thought everybody should kind of know about this, and I went to go and deliver this message directly to Rocksteady, because, to me, it makes sense. Hire internally. DC Comics, Warner Brothers, hire internally. Make sure that your quality of standards, which is real fucking high and unprecedented, right? Make sure that it continues to stay at that level, instead of shipping off all this shit to other people that don't give a fuck as much as you do and if you're not overseeing them directly then all this stuff is going to end up falling apart and it's your product your fan base and they're the ones that are going to suffer and ultimately you and that's not an end that you want to meet trust me opinions about it Who's got the PC version? I'm so fucking curious. If you have the PC version, please talk about any of the problems that you may or may not have had. As for anybody else that's out there playing the game, I'm hoping you're enjoying it. You know, because it's a new Batman game. I'm going to play it, but I hate hearing about fucking news like this. So, you know, rant videos like this. Either way, this is Alpha Omega Sin. As always, nerds, nerdettes, and gamers game. The fuck on.